Hello YouTube, it's me, Brono98, and today we're going to be unboxing the Moto 360, the first generation smartwatch by Motorola. Uh, went on a huge ass trip to find one of these. Both Best Buys in my area were completely out of them. So we went to Target and luck has it, they had two of these left and a bunch of the other ones, but oh, I wanted this one. So obviously this is the Moto 360. It's uh, the dark stainless steel case with the black horine weather, weather, leather band. Horween leather band. Uh, works with Android. Also works with iOS thanks to the Android Wear app. But we'll have to update it using this one. But let's go ahead and open this sucker up. It says right here it includes the Moto 360, charging dock, wall charger, and the quick start guides. So we're just gonna... I probably could peel this tape. Obviously this is replacing my Pebble for my iPhone. Uh, I just felt like I wanted something different. And this is was only 150 bucks. So let's go ahead and open this up. And first off, you're greeted with the smartwatch. There it is. Go ahead and set that aside and get out everything else. So right off the bat, you've got the dock. Obviously, this wireless charging cradle. On this side, you've got your wall adapter, which will work with pretty much any Android phone. Can use this cable as well. So, um, and your quick start guide and your warranty information. Warranty information guide. Alright, so I'm gonna have to go ahead and set this up off camera, but I'm gonna show you guys the first power on, I guess. Presumably, this thing has a charge. Maybe it doesn't. I have to charge it. Just go ahead and take off all the stuff. You see, this just looks beautiful. Even with the flat tire display. <laughs> Alright, so we'll be back once I get this thing set up, guys. Well, before we get it set up on iOS. Guys, we're back, and as you can see, I've got it updated to the 5.1.1 update, and we've got the app open on my iPhone. So we're just going to go ahead and swipe to the left, select my states, accept the policy, and now it says connect to a power source. We don't have to do that. We'll start with the phone. Found my Moto 360 right off the bat. So now we wait for the code. It's 155400. Pair it. So now we wait. It's going to take a little while. Paired. So now we're just going to wait for the watch to continue updating. You know what the, what's funny? The flat tire in the video is a lot more distracting than in real life. Like that doesn't even show up that bad or that much in real life. You can bring the camera closer if you need to. As you can see, the phone says updating too. And just for the sake of life, I'm going to bring the brightness up a bit. Now, obviously, the difference between 
using an Android Wear watch on iOS and versus an Android Wear watch on Android is that a you don't get custom apps and you're limited to a certain selection of watch faces that Google and Apple both approve of. So here it says let's explore the capabilities of your new watch. We can hit play or we can just skip it. It really doesn't matter. The watch has popped up here with something new, so we'll just skip this. Skip, skip, skip. Okay. Um, finish setting up your watch. We'll continue as me. So I'm in. Enable watch notifications. Enable location services. Enable the calendar. And there you go. So if we go ahead and we want to cancel the tutorial. And uh, yeah, you can see there's a YouTube notification. Which I can swipe away. Current weather. You also get the weekend and then you can go to weather.com. You can see somebody posted something in the Geeks from YouTube page. Somebody else is live streaming, blah, 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 blah. So here on the app, we can choose our watch faces, and it also shows you some extra things you can do. If you go into settings, Google Now is on. You can have the screen set to always on or ambient mode. Tilt to wait, card previews, calendar cards, email cards, blocked app notifications. Um, let's see, video search, or I mean voice search, smart search. Or safe search. Damn. Uh, so yeah, we'll go ahead and hit watch faces. You can see it just shows you the ones that are installed on the watch. Oh, it just told me about a package being shipped. That's pretty cool. Um, if you hit get more watch faces, you can see here's the selection. Apparently that's a good group, but it takes a while to download because of some issue with the application, I guess. But yeah, let's go ahead and mess around with the watch. So if we tap the screen, oh wait, that was the other version. If you just swipe, you get your agenda, the alarm, fit, flashlight, Google, moto body calories, moto body heart activity, moto body heart rate, step counter, settings, stopwatch, Timer, translate, and weather. So let's try doing this real quick. I want to see if it will actually let me control my music. Uh, for some reason, Apple Music is only showing the I uh, the music I added under iOS 8. So, so if we go back to the watch, and we get to control the music. That's pretty awesome. Something my pebble didn't work with was the volume control. That's really nice to have. So we'll just pause that. So yeah, guys, this has been the Moto 360 unboxing and setup with an iPhone. Thank you guys for watching. Keep on rocking.